Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about focusing on less and getting more done. Let's dive in. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I'm glad you're here. Today's video, as stated in the introduction, is about focusing on less, yet getting more done. So how does that happen? What exactly am I talking about? In my experience, through coaching other people and then evaluation, reflection in my own life, we tend to focus on too many things. In other words, we cast a really wide net and we go wide rather than going deep. And the more and more for myself and again for my clients, the people I work with now and in the past that I've realized and whittled things down with is that when you have a smaller focus and you get a smaller plate on what you have to focus on and you focus on those key activities, you end up being incredibly more productive, you have way less stress, there's way less mental turmoil and inability to get things done and follow through. And it's pretty simple, it's common sense if you think about it because if you're focused on, let's say, let's take business for example, and I actually heard Alex Hormozzi talk about this, there was a guy that came to him and he was a real estate agent and he had a real estate company and he's like, yeah, I also have a window company and I also have, you know, a screen door replacement company. And he's like, you know, this way we can do all the windows and the screen doors and all this stuff and a roofing company and all this. And Alex Ramosi told him, he said, man, what are you doing? He's like, why do you have so many businesses? He's like, you're only doing $4 million a year. He's like, think about the biggest window cleaning companies in the world. Think about the biggest roofing companies in the world. They're billion dollar companies. They do one thing really, really well. They don't do all these different things. And so this is about getting clear on what those important things are and managing your time to only focus on those important things. And as you focus on just those small important things that are going to actually produce the results, Again, what you'll notice is you'll start producing more effective results, you'll be more efficient with your time, you'll be less stressed out. So you think of it, the, another analogy is the, you know, a, a laser beam or a sniper rifle versus a shotgun. You shoot a shotgun on the wall, it just kind of sprays shit on the wall. If you really want to get something done, you've got to focus on some key activities and hone in what those activities are. And I'll share my personal examples with this. For me, personally, I've done this recently with my business and my fitness, and I thought, thought about what are the, the few things I need to focus on, and shout out to my buddy Steven if he's watching this, a fellow coach and business owner uh, who owns a local gym, having tons of success with his uh, in-person gym and then also with his online coaching program with his training, and we were talking about it, having a conversation about you know just connecting and also talking about business sort of things. And he asked me, you know, what is your task list? What are you focusing on in the day to day in order to grow your business? And what I realized, I wasn't focusing on the key things. There's a saying, I believe it's Les Brown, don't major in the minor things. I was majoring in the minor things. I was focusing on all these little things that weren't actually producing the result. What I needed to be produ uh, focusing on was, you know, creating content and then really building relationships and booking calls. And I really wasn't doing that. I was, you know, focused too much on reading courses about how to take my content to the next level or, you know, what other knowledge for my training programs I can do. I have a great working expertise in those areas already. Those aren't going to what, what's going to grow the business. What's going to grow the business is by focusing on these few key aspects that are going to help everything move forward and increase the bottom line. That's the goal of having a business, right? So if you think about it in your life as well, what things do you have to focus on? Well, you've got some non-negotiable responsibilities. You may have a family or a partner, uh, some kids. Okay, obviously, takes priority, things to focus on. Now you've gotta think about the area of your health, your fitness, are you really taking care of your body, of your mind, of your spirit? That's incredibly important. And then other than that, you've got work. So those are kind of the three main areas, right? Now ask yourself, how much extra crap are you doing that aren't improving those areas in your life? And how much extra energy are you spending on tasks or activities, on social media, things that you're doing that again, aren't producing the result that you want? 
And you kind of have to start, you know, Dr. Wayne Dyer, you start with the end in mind, right? I know I'm full of quotes, man. I've read so many of these uh, books and this knowledge that I've kind of uh, tried to absorb and apply over the years. But it's true, you start with the end in mind, or that's, I'm sorry, that's, that's Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, but you start with the end in mind. So you have to think, what is the end result that you want? So your business, for example, you want your monthly income, your gross earnings for your company to be X. Okay, now work backwards. Now what do we need to do? Well, we need to increase sales, we need to increase productivity. What are the things that produce sales? And you literally just work backwards and focus on those few key activities and learn to make those a habit each day. This is what I'm learning to do and lo and behold, surprise, things are starting to move forward, right? So you may or may not have also heard of the Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule. Now what the Pareto Principle states is that 20% of your actions produce 80% of the results. 20% of the uh, workers in a company are going to, in we'll say a sales company, are earning 80% of the money or any company. And then if you take it further, the 20% of that 20%, so really the you know 4% are earning even more, right? So you, you niche it down a little bit more. But anyways, I digress a little bit here. To stay on topic of this video, it's about taking the things off your plate that don't really matter and focusing on the few key activities that are gonna actually produce the results. If we take fitness, for example, many people who wanna start a fitness program or you know get in shape, lose some weight, whatever the case may be, whatever their physical goal is, and I know this from experience as a trainer, would focus on so many unimportant factors uh, you know, well, there's so many gyms out there. Let me spend a week on what gym I want to work out at, or, you know, let me make sure I have the diet, you know, and I, there's all these different diets. I got to do all this research. I, you know, I just don't have time and you start to get overwhelmed and you see how absolutely nothing gets done. So there's a goal to get in shape, but focusing on all these other things aren't really producing the action. All you really need to do, especially in the beginning, is just get your ass in the gym, go to the gym, go for a walk, go for a run. Just go and take a class, go and start trying things, see what you like. And as you do that, you'll gain more clarity and focus. So the activity that was on somebody's plate in that example that wasn't producing results was all this research, all this planning. We tend to do that as human beings, analysis paralysis, right? I'm sure you've never done that in your life. And the other thing that we need to do instead of that, again, is take the crap off our plate and just go do the few key actions that are producing the actual result. So this is a short video today and just a reminder that if you focus on less, meaning you narrow the amount of activities that you need to get done and you focus on them on a day-to-day -day basis, little by little, and you just focus on those few key actions, you will end up seeing a lot more progress. You will end up seeing a lot more results that you want in your life. And that's what it's about. I've realized and come to terms with that lately. I mean, I've already known it and everyone kind of knows it. But once you really get close to the fact, especially as men, is that you are based off of your performance. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> if you're a loser in your last place, nobody's talking about that guy or girl. No one's, you know, worried about that. You know, say if you're at the bottom of your company and you're in a sales company, nobody really gives a shit about that. Everybody, it's all about the top earners the top performers and that is based on what results you can produce and that's the value of this video and that's what I wish to impart upon you that I'm learning myself is that when you take less you take all the extra shit off your plate and you focus on less you will get more done if you're focusing on the key results and as a result you will produce more you'll be more effective and again this will improve your performance which is what we are all based and graded off of. So I hope this video was helpful today and you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.